Ladies, we are quickly getting into the travel season. Yes, some of the ladies will be traveling to their hometown while some will be traveling abroad. Whatever your plans are, in today's video, I am going to share with you how you can look elegant and expensive, whether you're traveling by road or by air. Let's get into it. Hello elegant ladies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ayani May and I'm just going to jump right into the video. So the first tip I have here has to do with your suitcase and that is for you to invest in a good suitcase. Yes, it's called a suitcase, not a box. I know that over here we sometimes call it a box but no, this is a box, this is a suitcase, okay? <laughs> Personally, I don't like travel bags. I don't know, I just think that they don't look very good. I'm going to give myself room here to be wrong because maybe I just haven't seen a travel bag that can elevate somebody's travel look. I also absolutely hate Ghana must go bags. I just think those are tacky and really horrible and they should just stay inside the house if you have any of it. If your goal is to look expensive and elegant when you're traveling, then a well-made suitcase is a must-have. This doesn't mean shopping for the most expensive luxurious suitcase, no. But all about you looking for a suitcase within your budget that is well-made, that looks good, and has the features that you need for your travel. It has to do with the color, it has to do with the design. I am a sucker for black suitcases, I really am. And that is the only color I am going to recommend for you because it is easy to maintain when it comes to cleaning it and dusting it. Secondly, it's not going to clash with the color of whatever outfit you choose. So invest in a nice suitcase and when you are using your suitcase, please clean your suitcase before going to the airport. Just take a rag, take a baby wipe, something and clean your suitcase. I have seen too many dusty and dirty suitcases at the airport and that is not what we are trying to achieve. Okay? Now the second tip, and this has to do with hair and makeup. I'm going to start with makeup. I don't encourage a full face makeup for a long haul flight or a long road trip because by the time you get to where you're going to, your makeup will look a mess and you will not look good. For a long haul flight, I would just see the well moisturized face, tinted lip gloss, groomed eyebrows, and you're good to go. But if you are taking a short flight, a full face makeup is fine, especially if you are going to an event immediately you land that works now for hair i haven't traveled via road for a very long time and i'm never going to as long as there's a flight to where i'm going to never happening again but when i used to travel by road you know those very long trips like from lagos to Akwaibom, lagos to potakot my go-to hairstyle was a ponytail or putting whatever hair i had at the time into a ponytail the reason for this is that it will stay clear of your face and your hair will Will not be messy by the time you get to where you're going to and this works for long haul flights too don't forget that you're likely going to sit down lean your head on your headrest and you're moving that way and this way and that way and this way the issue with this is that by the time you get to where you're going to the back of your hair is going to be so tangled and so messy that it just doesn't look good that's why a ponytail is my recommended hairstyle and not just that it is elegant it is chic and it is practical in the sense that there's always something that affects our hair when we travel. I don't know what that thing is. I don't know if it is the humidity. I don't know if it is the heat. I don't know if it is air. I don't know what it is. But oftentimes when you travel, by the time you get to where you're going to, you have this bird nest looking hair, which is always ridiculous. But with a ponytail, that's not going to happen. So ponytail all the way. It is such a classic look for the airport. And if you don't want to put your hair in a ponytail, that's all fine and good. Just opt for a hairstyle that is not going to become messy as you travel especially if it's a long haul flight or a long road trip now let's talk outfits and the first aspect of the travel outfit i'm going to address is the trousers or pants as the americans call it ladies let me just get this out of the way no leggings or workout clothes not at all we are trying to achieve an elegant expensive look and workout clothes and leggings will not do another thing here is sweatpants please say no to sweatpants say no to baggy mom jeans 
outfit that won't do either i hate jeans for travel especially for long trips i think it is the most horrible outfit to wear when you know you're going to be sitting for a very long time jeans are very restrictive they can be tight uncomfortable and because oftentimes when you're traveling you end up getting bloated your jeans become so tight and so restrictive you have to now unbutton it and just sit there it's ridiculous now you're wondering okay i anyway what can I wear as a trouser or as a pant? Tailored pants or trouser, but not tightly fitted tailored pants. Something free. Wide leg pants also work. I'm alternating between pants and trousers. I'm sorry about that. Palazzo trousers work. So those are options that you can explore. These options that I just shared with you are very elegant and very chic. And the best part is that they give you a lot of room to move around so that you're not uncomfortable. One more thing that you have to consider when it comes to your trousers is the fabric you want to go for a fabric that doesn't wrinkle very easily and for this I recommend high quality polyester or even cotton you want to run from fabrics that wrinkle very easily aka linen <laughs> That's a fabric that I have a love-hate relationship with. And the reason for this is that when you sit down on linen for a long time, it essentially looks like somebody squeezed it together and then put it on your body. So opt for a good fabric. The next outfit item is your top. For tops, I see no to t-shirts, no to sweat tops, no to crop tops that reveal too much. These clothing items are very, very casual clothing items. And the goal here is to look elegant and expensive so for tops i recommend neat tops like these ones i have here they are very comfortable they're not too casual they are casual chic casual elegance another of my go-to top style are peplum tops they look beautiful on my body so whatever top style you choose just make sure that it flatters your body it makes you feel comfortable it is elegant and it is also made with good fabric the next clothing item are dresses. I do not recommend dresses for a long haul flight or for a long road trip. I think they're very, very risky and sometimes it can get really cold on the flight and if you're heading to a cold country, then it's just not appropriate for the weather. I think they are okay for a short flight as long as the dress looks elegant and beautiful, but that's about it. So if you want to opt for a dress as you're traveling, I would like you to consider the duration of the trip, whether it's flight or by road the weather of where you're going to and what your layover is going to look like. These will help you make the proper decision. The next tip has to do with handbags but before I get into that, are you enjoying this video? I'm sure you are. So take a moment to click on the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't and also leave a comment in the comment section sharing your thoughts with me. Ladies, the goal for a travel outfit is casual chic or casual elegance and I have a detailed video where I share outfit ideas that will help you look casual and elegant without you compromising your comfort. I'm going to leave a link to the video right here or even in the description so that you can watch that video and have more outfit ideas that you can put together as a travel outfit. Now handbags. The size of your handbag essentially depends on the duration of the trip or the essential items that you will need during that trip. In a few short moments, I'm going to share travel must have for both air and road travel so stick with me okay when it comes to your handbag i would say that a small handbag works just fine if it is a short trip or if you have a carry-on luggage with you where you can put all your items like laptops ipad and any other thing that you need however for a long haul flight or for a long road trip where you may not have access to your luggage you need to go for a larger handbag or a medium size handbag where you can put your essentials in all in all just go for a structured handbag not a flappy kind of handbag something that will elevate your look and make sure that the color is also harmonious with your outfit the next on my list are shoes my goodness I am tired of seeing flip-flops and crocs at the airport what is it with the crocs please somebody explain this to me because i don't understand it i think i've said before on this channel you can wear your crocs to go to the market you know how nigerian markets can get very dirty if it's rainy and you don't want to spoil your expensive shoes that's fine but wearing crocs to the airport wearing crocs to hang out it is so bad that we now have heeled crocs and platform crocs 
I think I'm ranting. Let's just leave that, okay? Ladies, I beg you. If your goal is to look elegant and expensive, you have to ditch the Crocs. You have to ditch the flip flops. They are a thousand and one shoes that are elegant and will not compromise your comfort. One, you have sneakers. Not chunky, masculine sneakers, but feminine, simple white sneakers or even black sneakers. You also have flat mules. You have ballet flats and even loafers. These are better options compared to our friend, the Crocs and our friend the flip-flops. I have a detailed video where I share with you essential shoes every elegant woman should have. I'll leave the card right here and also leave a link in the description for you to watch later on. I would say this, avoid heels. Okay, avoid heels when going to the airport, especially if you are in a hurry or if you have to go through security where you have to go through all that stress of taking off your shoes and putting it back on. It's just a hassle and heels can also be very uncomfortable for the airport, except it is absolutely unavoidable, then you can do heels. But if you can avoid it, avoid it all together. Next up is accessories. And there's just three I'm going to share here. The first are sunglasses. Sunglasses are just too essential for you to ignore. They just elevate your outfit and gives you that expensive, classy woman vibe. So you need a good pair of sunglasses when you're traveling. The second is a scarf that you can just wrap around your neck or throw over your shoulders, again, to elevate your outfit. The third is a jacket or a coat. So these are the three accessories that you should consider making a part of your outfit because it will elevate your outfit. Another accessory I would have added here is the hat, but these can be tricky, especially if it is a federal hat, which can get cumbersome once you sit down. However, if you can add a baseball cap to your outfit and it still looks elegant, even though it's casual, then go ahead. If not, leave the hat out of the mix okay and finally a list of items that you will need to carry along with you when you are traveling the list i'm going to share with you covers long haul flight short flights and even long road trips go through the list and decide which one you will need for what occasion and ladies that's it for today's video i would love to hear your thoughts share them with me in the comment section if you also have other tips that look elegant and expensive share it with me i look forward to reading your comments because i'm sure there are a couple of things in there that I can learn. In the next video, I am going to share with you affirmations that you can say to yourself as an elegant, feminine, high value woman. These affirmations will cover different areas of life. This is essential because oftentimes this journey can get overwhelming. If you are not getting the right results, you may feel discouraged and you need to keep encouraging yourself. And these affirmations will help. It is going to be a very short, very sweet video that you can always refer to when you need it. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't and turn on post notification by clicking that bell right there so that you do not miss that video. As always, ladies, be kind to yourself and I'll see you in that video. Bye.